Hello folks, uh, Lee from West Country Cleaning Equipment and Pest Control. Uh, today I'm just going to give this vehicle here, which is one of our pest control vehicles that goes out in the field, uh, we're just going to give it a quick clean off. Uh, so I'm just going to take you through a few of the products that we use uh, and that we also supply to a lot of our customers in the area as well. Uh, first of all, we're going to treat the wheels because the, the wheels are really, really dirty. So we're going to use um, Earl's Rim Cleaner because nobody likes a dirty rim. Um, we're going to apply that to the wheels first. Then we're going to give it a, a blast off with a snow foam bottle um, using the Earl HD 623 on hot water. And then after that, we'll rinse all the snow foam off and we'll uh, give it a blast with a bit of wax rinse, which will hopefully leave a nice glossy sheen on it. Uh, so we'll get on with that now. So it's bright luminous, look at the color. So we always make sure that we treat the wheels first um, and then it gives the product uh, plenty of time to act on the dirt and bite into the dirt basically. There we go, so that's on there. We'll just do this side first of all, just so that you can see the product in use. Um, I don't want to bore you too for too long. You don't want to see me washing the entire vehicle because that's just boring, isn't it? Um, so that's on there. So next we're going to get the snow foam bottle out and we'll give the uh, vehicle a blast off with some snow foam. Okay. So in the snow foam bottle, uh, we've got some of our Ultra Fleet and a lot of you will recognize uh, the bright pink color of our Ultra Fleet product, uh, which is a premium traffic film remover stroke shampoo. It has actually got a rinse aid in it um, and it's the product that we sell to the likes of Avon and Somerset Police. A lot of the fleet operators in the area use it as well. So whenever you see a nice shiny, uh, bright and clean Avon and Somerset Police car, it's been washed with our West Country Ultra Fleet. So let's get that on to the machine now. This is just, this is not the hose and lance that comes supplied with a new machine. Obviously this is our test lance in case you're wondering why it's so dirty. Obviously we don't want to be uh, dirtying a brand new hose and lance. So nice, the Earls come as standard with a nice quick release. Uh, a lot of you will be familiar with it and it's starting to rain now, so we'll crack on. So that's on there, it's locked in place. We'll go around to the machine and turn it on. So that's securely on. So what we'd normally do, what we normally recommend for people is that we leave the product on for about five minutes or so, um, if it's not in direct sunlight, um, and then it'll give the product uh, plenty of time to bite into the dirt. So hopefully you won't need to use a sponge or a brush, which can obviously scratch your vehicle. The idea of using this process is uh, that it's as clean as possible um, and it's also uh, touchless. So therefore you're not using br brushes which could scratch the paintwork. Okay, so we'll fire up the machine now, we'll pretend five minutes has elapsed. It's just purely a demonstration. It is quite dirty here, as you can see. All right, it is a dirty vehicle. It's not one of these staged events where somebody's thrown a load of soil over a vehicle and then says, you know, look how well this has worked. It's real, it's real world. no agitation with that and it's uh, cut through the dirt nicely so we'll just carry on and rinse off the rest of the vehicle <laughs> So that's, that's working really well, isn't it? It's the first time I've actually used this rim cleaner. Uh, so really happy with the results on that one. Just a quick one. 
Uh, with uh, this system that's a quick release, it will also allow the lance to swivel upside down like this. So you don't have to, on traditional lances where they've got the bend in the end, you have to get down low. With this you don't, you can just rotate the lance around like that so it's pointing up slightly. Open the trigger. swap over onto the wax rinse and then we'll blast it through you will get a short delay um, from when you turn the wax rinse on because it's got to go through about 30 meters of hose inside uh, pipe I should say inside the boiler coil and then also through 20 meters of pipe pressure hose as well so we'll probably edit this bit out and get straight onto the wax rinse okay so uh, we've reached the wax rinse stage uh, this Earl HD 623 and most of the other Earl machines have got um, two facilities to put your chemical on. So you can put your TFR in this one, your traffic film remover in this tank, which takes about 20 liters. Got a nice big opening on there so you're not spilling it everywhere. And also on the machine, if you just come around this side, we've also got a second position here where we can, it's it's like an old fashioned um, uh, pipe here that with a filter on the end that we can use for a second TFR or other additive. In this case, we're gonna use our wax rinse which comes in five uh, litre drums. So it's got a two position uh, chemical tap on there. One of them goes to this, set it the other way and it'll, it will suck it out of the tube on the side there. So I've set it to that side now. I've already primed the system so we can just crack on and get some wax rinse on there. The burner is on so we get some nice hot wax on there. Fantastic. So we've got the wax on there, um, I'm now going to rinse it off using the standard Earl Lance which comes with a 25 degree nozzle as standard so it's a nice wide fan pattern um, which is going to give you a quick rinse uh, to be able to rinse everything off uh, so we'll crack on with that now. So we've used uh, the Earl HD623 hot machine, which is available from us, funnily enough. Um, they go out at 17.95 plus the VAT. If anybody is looking to purchase a new machine or perhaps trade in their old one, we can always do you a good deal on that. Uh, we've used our Ultra Fleet TFR. We use that with a snow foam lance that we sell as well and which um, interchanges directly onto the Earl trigger. No worries at all, so you don't need to buy any other fittings. We've got them on the shelf. Um, you can pick one up when you buy a new machine. Um, we've used Ultra Fleet uh, and we've also used our wax rinse as well. 
I think that's pretty much covered everything. Thanks very much for watching this. Um, and if you'd like to see anything else, if you want me to go over anything or any other machines that we sell, then let us know in the comments um, and perhaps we, can, perhaps we can get another video together. Okay, we'll take care and see you soon.